so the Drake and Bobby Haltoff drama continues as she was reportedly kicked out of his South by Southwest party. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So on Tuesday, March 12th, the Daily Mail reported that the online personality was among those present at Mayfair Austin following the South by Southwest premiere of Magic City and American Fantasy, a docuseries co-executive produced by Drizzy's Dream Crew Media Company. Though Drake didn't attend the party himself, Bobby was reportedly removed from the premises as she apparently showed up uninvited. I have no idea how she got in because she was not invited by organizers or hosts of the event, a source present at the gathering claimed. If you look at the past history between her and Drake, it's easy to see why she wasn't invited and why she was removed as soon as possible. Bobby and her podcast went viral last summer when she interviewed Drake, though it seemed like their relationship soured soon after when they both unfollowed each other on social media and the interview was removed from YouTube. During an appearance on the Baby This Is Kiki Palmer podcast earlier this year, the comedian denied there was ever an issue and even said she spoke to him just a few weeks prior. <laughs> so Drake came on and what was the beef? What was the thing? What was the thing that went viral with you and Drake where they're like, the unfollow? What happened with that? Why did he unfollow you? Um, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> When's the last time you talked to him? Um, like a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So that's your homeboy for real. We're, he's he's breaking I'm news. Very, he's a very nice person, and he's definitely clearly changed the trajectory of. That was a big word. I don't. I mean, sure I he did change it. Changed I mean, the that's of my not, whole career. So I, I found out about you from him. So I'd I say don't he think. Definitely. I think he. Yeah, either him or Funny Marco, but like yeah. both of them, um, definitely changed my whole entire life. So like, look at you giving crazy. the black people props. Oh, they, yes, <laughs> they definitely <laughs> did. There's no like. There's no, I, without them, it's like I was still going to be like posting with my 100K views and not. Amid reports of a divorce from her husband, rumors about Bobby sleeping with Drake began circulating online last year, though she was quick to deny them. Yet another theory as to why their episode was removed arrived in September when a TikTok user by the name of Photog Steve 81 posted a clip that went viral. In it, he claimed that Drake essentially controlled the fate of the episode through corporate bullying. With him playing Tyga's Rack City during the interview, the social media user theorized that he could have had UMG, who owned the rights to the track, threaten to take all the profits from the interview or have it taken down due to copyright law. Drake paid her travel to come to his location, negotiated where his team would film, produce, and control most everything about the podcast. He then goes on to play Tyga's track, Rack City. He specifically leaves it playing and airs a very long clip in the episode, which now appears to have been his leverage he planted in the episode from the beginning. Drake's team reached out to Universal Music Group, which owns the rights to Rack City, and then issued a copyright strike against Bobby's podcast. They filed it under the terms that YouTube has with Universal Music. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to set the date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.